The impacts of the war shaking the ground here at home. At one synagogue, a leader is dealing with his own emotional toll as the war rages on. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock sat with Temple Emanuel's Cantor, who's also the father of two Israeli soldiers. He shares what he's fearing the most. Matt. Mike Shannon, Cantor doctor Brian Mayer is helping hundreds in his congregation navigate through these trying times here in Rhode Island. But back in Israel, his sons are defending the Israeli people. One an active soldier for the Israeli army, the other a reserve who's preparing to go to war. Cantor doctor Brian Mayer, a religious leader through song, a doctor of theology. But the title that made me the most, being a father. In Yiddish, Nachis. It's a combination of parental joy and being proud of your kids, all wrapped up into one word. Just five days before the war began, Cantor Mayer's sons, David and Jonah, were here celebrating the high holy days. I'm so proud of them. I serve the Jewish people here in Providence and in the United States. They're serving the Jewish people there in our homeland. Now the two in Israel active and reserve soldiers for the Israeli army. That day when they were leaving, my face was just covered with tears that I couldn't hold back. Cantor Mayer says while neither are currently in harm's way, he worries and fears what the days to come might bring. At four o'clock in the morning, I woke up with a nightmare that one of my sons had been killed. His emotion for the Jewish people, raw. After the massacre a week ago Saturday, I didn't sleep for a couple of nights because it was just so disturbing. His frustrations, real. I'm upset and trying to remain calm. But his message, clear. And I'm sickened by Palestinians who are powerless, being run by a terrorist, I can't even call it a government, it's, it, it's a gang. After conversations with his son, Cantor Mayer says there are soldiers on the ground without body armor. He's since started a donation fund to help assist Israeli soldiers who are boots on the ground. A link to that can be found over on our website at WPRI.com. Reporting live in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News.